a teach pendant, Nachi AR controller. This is your speed key up here. Your speed keys are <clears throat> high speed, one, two, three, four. Low speed, one, two, three, and four. Now when it's on low speed, number one, you're barely gonna see the machine moving when you're using the left and right key, rotate two key, B key, the upper wrist, rotate one, you got up, down, back, forward. When the speed's on, not on high speed, it's on one, you're not gonna see the machine move. So be careful, the machine doesn't move on you. When you have the dead man switch on the back pulled in, you can hear the brakes come on when the motor's on. Make sure it's up on high speed and try one, two, three, and four. Okay, so you can see the machine move. R1, R2, okay. Other buttons on the teach pendant, all right, are the interpolation up here. You have polar, linear, and joint. It changes around the robot's coordination of how the robot moves. Okay, you have your enable key. If you want to use the green keys down here on the bottom, modify, delete, add, all right, on or off. Okay, you hold the enable key up here on the top. This one here. All right, you have function keys. Other ones you use quite a bit are set, record, modify. Okay. This key over here, condition modify, that comes in very handy if you want to edit things in the program like changing timers, changing the speed of a program you've already written, all right? If you want to change the position, it's like an editor type page after you've written the program. Now when you're in here and you change some of your values up on top of the screen here, you have to remember to shut this back off like so before it saves your changes, okay? When you want to step through the program, use the step go, step back it steps you through the program one step at a time okay you have to have the dead man switch on the back squeezed in and enabled in order to use step go step back or to move left to right forward back up and down with each one of the keys okay so you have your speed key up on top your robot coordinates for moving to change it from linear to joint movements okay And now you have your numbers that you would enter for your codes. One important thing to remember that the service engineer code for the machine is R. So you push the R key, three, one, four, and then you would push set. And that is the service engineer code. If you want to change some other things in the uh, constants files or update the uh, encoder positions and things. Now to shut it back off, it would be R for reset, 3, 14, set, and it would cancel the service engineer code. So you have left, right, forward and back on the robot, up and down. Rotate 2 is part of the, the upper arm wrist. B is the bend of the, ac the upper arm, and R1 is the rotation of the axis faceplate, where the tooling would be mounted to. Now this key here, when you move the robot to a position and you push record, that will record a robot's position. Then you move the robot to another position in space you want it, you push record, that records the second position, you move the robot again and push record, <clears throat> that's how you write a program. Now when you get to the end of the program, in order to put it, you have to put an end statement in there after the very last move. An end statement is M. 92 set key and that puts an end statement in there. Now all these M end statements, the M codes and the I codes are all in the manuals. So it's a matter of entering, entering I 56, M 56, whatever code you want to put in there. If you wait for an input, wait for an output. All right. Now if you want to enter a timer function in there, you would push T and as soon as you push T, that ask you for what time you want to wait for, okay? Now you can delete an instruction in there, enable, shift key, plus delete, will delete a function. 
you can add a position inside of there. Say you wanted to add a position in between position one and two, you would move the robot to where it needs to be and you would push enable and add and it would add a position in there for you. Make sure that you check it with step go and step back to make sure it's in the right spot. You can modify a position. Say you want to modify position number two, you push step two set that would take you to step two in the program. Move the robot to where you want it and push enable and modify at the same time and it'll tell you it modify position number two. All right. That's just a little bit about the teach benefit.